hello everyone uh, welcome to my uh, new video uh, so now i am going to show after downloading uh, already i uh, already i showed how to download uh, population data using population data set and download population count data uh, from google earth engine platform by using export uh, export uh, function and uh, from in Google Earth Engine platform. Okay, so you easily export uh, in your population data geo TV images in your Google Drive. Then uh, we make now we make how you can uh, now make our population uh, data map. Okay, population count map. So now uh, the already I uh, export already export this population data. So we now we own open our um, open my google drive so when open my google drive you see this uh, geotp images of population data so it's simply download so in it's uh, download in our local uh, drive so then now i open my arcgis application then search this data set now we make the population count data set layout layout view or map view okay now we create a map so first of all we refresh our download folder so then we search this our population count data uh, geotp images so this is our po population count data tp images so easily open in a layer okay this is our geotp here you see the black color so we need to Max it uh, max this area or remove this area. So now I go to my shape file folder and this administrative boundary shape file we put here. Okay, so this is our maxed shape file or uh, study area shape file. So now I go to my uh, system toolbox for removing this black part from our TP images, then a special analysis tool then go to the extraction then we use the extraction by max we use at the double click above extraction by max then we input raster what is our input raster input raster is population data so input raster is our population data uh, then uh, we raster uh, input raster okay raster data is our population data already uh, we download it uh, from Google Art using Google Art Engine platform. So then we go to the BGD administrative boundary as a input raster or feature max data. Okay, we max our uh, this uh, external extra extra area as a uh, this you show uh, the black part of this images. So the, now we click the OK. Our max function is uh, extract by max function is working so after some second we see okay already we see here this extract tp images so and um, okay so now we uh, ready this extra tp images now we go to the here you see the data view and this is our layout view okay map layout view okay so now we expand this data frame or data grid so now we go to the file and go to the present pin setup option for change all of the things okay okay now suppose we change the width and height of this map grid or map layout so 11 and 11 inches then we check this area okay so now we, we set it is uh, for better visualization okay now we go to the layer after right click go to the properties here you see the properties we uh, open a new grid okay we open a new grid then we uh, get the rule then we go to the next okay next finish and, go, and now we go to the properties of the new grid so we go to the properties exist exist we set all of the things so already we inside we, if you want to uh, if you want to display tick as the outside if it has put the outside and if you want to so go to the AC inside you click at the inside okay 
so it's not a big deal so now we are the outside we default um, uh, setup we use for this exist and then we label what is our label feature label feature suppose we increase 10 and bold the label feature text then we vertical level vertical level we uh, show the left and right we right click because level oriented left and right vertical level left and right okay so then we go to the line so we uh, do not show any line or ticks so that's why we uh, click it then we have seen an interval we use at the default uh, setting then we click to the apply and now okay then again we click to the apply and okay and already we show had the grid uh, latitude value and longitude value so now we go to the uh, these tp images extra tp images and right click to the right uh, button and then we uh, go to the parties and if you want to the range okay if you uh, set the email uh, population count range suppose 0 to uh, 500 or yeah. 500 1 to uh, 600 600 1 to 700 okay if you want to set this type of fraction um, class just you go to the um, this is the option the classified and then you set the class 5 6 7 or 8 is your is to depend uh, on, on your interest so now i show the only five five class that means this is zero to um, more than uh, zero to three uh, thousand and six hundred eighty then we three thousand and six hundred eighty to seven thousand and all of the things step by step we set it and if you want to set the ester okay well now we click to another uh, click this ramp so you see it okay this time okay it is not so value is zero and zero to right. go to the properties if you want to see the stress color okay we see uh, we uh, put it in this type of color ramp what a minute If you want to see this type of color ramp, so just to put the every color easily change it. Okay, every color easily change. Suppose this uh, color shows this type of color, and uh, this color shows the red color. Middle value shows this type of color. Okay, so now we what is the problem? Okay, so low value okay we uh, we change it if you want to show the stress color so just we go to the stress and uh, set any uh, one value so now we see this type of map of uh, the population map okay so this is a population map uh, is uh, if you want to uh, set this unique value unique value we set this uh, we set this uh, unique value with unique value we did not set there is stress and this get uh, if you want to see that this get color or uh, classified value just you put here the uh, range okay just you put here the range perfectly uh, then you see it and see it easily okay so here you see the uh, low value and uh, high value so we see here the stress color stress color which already set apply and okay and then if you want to insert the legend map arrow map title of the map legend scale bar all of the things that we show here so now we easily we uh, see here the map legend okay map legend minimum value and maximum value so this is the process for making uh, after downloading after downloading uh, your uh, population uh, as your tp images from google earth engine then it open in your arcma application and make the this type of uh, population map layout view okay so thanks for watching uh, please subscribe my youtube channel